for SCP-106. The date of the log is um, October 10th, um, 2022, and the time is 1400. Um, I'm going to try to make this a uh, quick uh, exam today. We are just going to be obtaining samples from SCP-106. There are supposedly um, guards around here somewhere outside of this containment. So, okay, um, quick description. SCP-106, object classification, heater. No physical interaction with SCP is allowed unless approved by no less than two-thirds vote. From command. Um, all staff are to remain at least 60 meters away from the containment cell at all times except in the event of breach events. SCP is to be contained in a selected or sealed container comprised of lead light steel. This container will be sealed within 40 layers of identical materials. The container is to remain suspended no less than 60 meters from any surface by ULO2D electromagnetic supports. Okay, yada 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 here. Um, so about 80,000 lumens of light. Any corrosion observed on any containment cell surface staff member or other site locations within 200 meters of SCP are to be reported to site security immediately. Any objects of personnel lost to SCP any objects or personnel lost to SCP are to be deemed missing or KIA no recovery attempts are to circumstance. Okay, okay, um, this is the desk pad here. Um, special note, contained research and observation have shown that when faced with a highly complex random assembly of structures, SCP can be confused, showing a marked delay on entry and exit from said structure, explaining the whole containment facilities here. SCP is also shown an aversion to direct sun, sudden light. Direct sudden light. This is not manifested in any form of physical damage, but a rapid exit into their pocket dimension. Pocket dimension. Generated on solid surfaces, these observations have reduced escape incidents to 43%. 43% would normally be a good number, but in this case, SCP-106 appears to be a elderly humanoid, which I can confirm on visual here, with a general appearance of advanced um, decomposition. This appearance may be very, but the rotting quality is observed in SCP is not exceptionally agile and will remain motionless for days at a time, waiting for their prey. And when attacking, SCP will attempt to incapacitate prey and pull them into their pocket dimension. Okay, SCP-106 
causes a corrosion effect in all solid matter it touches, engaging a physical breakdown in materials several seconds after contact. This is observed as rusting, rotting, and cracking of materials and the creation of a black, mucus-like substance, similar to the material containing or coating SCP, which I can confirm for the audio log. Uh, there is a black, mucousy type substance um, covering SCP-106. This effect is detrimental to living tissues and is assumed to be a pre-digestion action. Corrosion continues for about six hours after contact and then appears to burn out. Limited observation of pocket dimension has shown it to be compromised of halls and rooms. SCP goes through long periods of dormancy, which is why we are here today, in which it will remain completely motionless for up to three months. This causes unknown and when it awakes, it'll be very agitated. Right. Okay. I'm not going to waste any further time here. Uh, let's go ahead and try to obtain the samples I came here for. Um, SCP-106 appears to be in a dormant state. We waited exactly one month to make sure that they were in this idle period, and um, I had a good two months before uh, they would emerge. Okay, without further ado, I have brought with me today, I'm going to try and stay quiet, I have brought with me today some lead-lined gloves, so that way I can get into a closer contact with SCP-106. They said that touching SCP should not awaken. Oh, I guess that is yet to be determined, since we have never obtained a sample until now. Lucky me. Okay. I'm going to start by doing a slight seeing if SCP is in fact dormant. The things I do for science. <sighs> okay. Here goes nothing. Going in for contact. Okay. 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 For the audio log, that is a good sign. I was able to um, touch SCP-106 and they still remain dormant. Um, okay. Alright, good, good, good. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my equipment here. <sighs> Saying I'm nervous. my pen light here, and I'm going to attempt to just take a quick inspection look over SCP-106. Okay. And it does appear that SCP-106 is in a dormant-like state, almost like a hibernation. Using a weaker light than the supposed lumen amount that would startle SCP as I don't want to agitate and awake the specimen. Um, I just want to try to see if I can see anything else about their skin's complexion and decomposition here. Um, okay. It does appear to be 
be some kind of erotic flash. Has to be. Does appear to be humanoid, I can confirm on inspection. And there does appear to be some kind of skin or matter, kind of tissue decomposing over SCP due to that black substance, which I'm going to attempt to retrieve a sample of here. For the audio log, I have brought with me some lead-lined tools, as well as my lead-lined gloves, and a lead-lined container for the sample. So, here we are. I'm going to use my instrument now and attempt to retrieve a sample of SCP. Appears to be rather goopy. I'm gonna try to go in here. If we can get a little closer. Yes, sir. I would also, for the audio log, like to run a test here. I am going to take a sample of materials and place some of this substance and see how it decomposes. With me, I have a few gears and clock mechanics that I'm going to go ahead and just grab some of this black material here on it. Very good. And set it off to the side here, and we'll check on it in a few minutes. It should be pretty quick, but we'll wait and see what happens to those. is try and retrieve a skin sample from SCP. I'm going to grab my lead line tweezers here. One moment. Let me grab those. Where did I set those? Okay. Get in my tweezers. And my scalpel. This is a lead line scalpel as well. And for the audio log, I'm going to attempt to retrieve the sample. So, and just going to I thought, um, I thought I had disturbed an SCP, but it looks like we are okay. Do it again here. Just Okay, good, 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 good. 
For the log here, I have retrieved successfully a sample of the black decomposing uh, mucus material that is coating SCP's body, and I was able to retrieve a, uh, a tissue sample as well. Um, I'm going to just try to grab a few more pieces of information before we leave, since we have not studied SCP or 106 so closely and hope to not do again in the future. Uh, I'm going to attempt to grab some quick measurements of SCP-106. For the audio log, I was able to grab some measurements. I'm just going to write those down real quick so I don't forget. Now I'm getting out of here. The material seems to have decomposed. The uh, clock mechanisms um, into a um, bit of a tangled mess. Um, you know what? I think I have everything I need for this SCP. I'm gonna get out of here before it um, decides to wake up. 
ending audio log 001. This is Dr. Smith. Okay. Yeah. Please leave six messages. Josh Petty, Angela Bagwell, Rachel Gurley, Joel, Rad, Michael, Timothy, Dalton Alexander, Hunter Moore, Texas Chicago Joe, Jared, Anthony Kim, Travis Fletcher, Nora, DTMKAC, Hong Kong Choco Mystery, Sarah, Oreo Kitty, Jay Sotal, Hugo, Lazo Sayara, Chris Hubbard, Medallion Guy, Hellas Butcher, Ricky Park, Oliver Skyward, Cindy Jewel Emily, Emily's Yucca, Kevin Testa, Mr. Walter, Hannah, Sam Hippo, Ryan Kent, Lazo, Lazaro, Unleash Linux 23, Cobalt Mini, Gary McGuire, Robert, Apollyon 001, Joshua Mercer, Demon Baby 12, Mindy 07098, Carl, Jeff, Lady Cinnamon, Lady Luck, Stefan Star Voltor, Nicole, Luke 1259, Luke C, Spencer Moore, Mark Copeland, Andrew Ball, Mr. Adeline, Thomas Lennon, Dylan Ray, SDR Nine, Chris Head, Cameron Kim, Claire, Benninger, Mr. Rock Cypher ninety eight, Chris Hanna, Kinda Handsome, Mr. McGowan, Cedric, David McDowell, David Tiernan, Tiana Fitzpatrick, Pierre Maurice Gibbons, Spy King, Miss Rain seventeen, Sam Small, Tom J, Alex Jenkins, Justin Pamenti, Jerry Wood, Chris Charming Walker, Aaron Carr, James Silva. Sayoki, Clyde Fabio, Al Coley, Kyle Conconte, Java, Mike Kimball 908, Dragon Fang, Mike, Sneaky Sloth, Mr. Mr. Chris CAA, Water Walk 764, Nano 0921, Mark S, Quincy John Rivera, Chester Bolden, Sling Goat, Apollo, Andrew's new husband, Will Carroll, James Cooter, Becca Barlow, Dean, Johnny DeVenza, Slark237, Justin, Scrimge underscore 77, Edelheim, John PCY9, Patrick Stewart, 